versus Final Five, and I'm joined in by two of my co-commentator years, FZ and JD the King. And it's the pick ban phase. The blue team has banned Sejuani, and the purple team has banned Lee Blanc. What are your thoughts on those bans, JD? Like Sejuani, after the patch 5.5, is very strong now because because of the new um, jungle item. I forgot the name, but yeah, the, uh, it brought back the tanky junglers. So might see a lot of Sejuani bans nowadays. And, uh, LeBlanc, yeah, that's very true. and LeBlanc, of course, is almost a perma ban in any tier uh, because of her high mobility. And so, her. FZ, what's your take on Hecarim being banned? Is he that potent a top laner that he has pulled a ban towards? Yeah, uh, recently we have seen Hecarim being picked in the LCS, so um, I think he has the um, potential to be a threat to the teams. So yeah, he's getting banned out now. So we see Katrina and Yasuo being banned, also Graves being banned, pretty much the standard bans of snowballing champions coming out. Jinx being first picked. Uh, what because the Graves being banned, what's your take on Jinx being first picked? Because Graves is one of the people who pretty much counters Jinx. And um, Jinx is one of the most strongest AD carries right now. Yeah, like so, I see where they're going with the Graves ban because um, they didn't want to uh, face a uh, Graves. When they pick Jinx, so I think that's a pretty good ban and a pick by Jinx because he is a hyper carry late game. And yeah, but the Lucian being locked in now. Follows. What's your what's your thoughts on it? Yeah, well, um, Lucian is a very good pick. He has a strong early game. So um, let's see what happens because um, Jinx is gonna have a difficult time laning against Lucian. Yes, that's true, but uh, Lucian is also um, there with Morgana. Um, I don't know how that comp works that well or not, but uh, we see an Irelia and Maokai being locked up. That means we'll see probably a Maokai jungle after a long time. Um, and uh, uh, Annie being locked up, so this looks like an Annie mid and a Warwick jungle locked up. What is your take on a Warwick jungle? Because pre-6, Warwick is a very weak jungle. Yeah, uh, Warwick pre-6 doesn't bring in too much pressure for the lanes. But after 6, if played right, it could like spell disaster for one laner where he ults and then... That could be a kill straight up. But the early game Warwick is just very... Not very good for the team with Warwick. Yep, that's very true. Leona being hovered on and Velkos being hovered on. We have never seen anybody on this season of ILG play Velkos. Um, do you think Velkos as a champion is that viable to be brought down uh, on the fields of justice? Um, Velkos can bring a lot of damage, but his weak early game and his the absence of getaways makes him kind of weak, but he can dish out so much damage in the mid-game team fights that he's pretty good of a pick, I guess. Against an Annie, that could spell disaster for Velkos, so... And a Warwick. Yeah, I completely agree on that, because um, if Annie uh, has those flashy um, flash stuns landed, and the jungler is right there, Velkos has no chance of getting away. Well, that's true. And now uh, the Chogat being hovered on, the tanky beast. Uh, one of my favorite champions, one of the champions I was known for when I used to play back in Season 2, Season 3. Um, Chogat is something which is very close to my heart. And um, I love the champion to the core. But with the recent meta, I'm not sure how Chogar is going to perform in front of an Irelia. 
because the irelia true damage can really shut chogat down what's your take on that is the chogat pick has chogat countered himself picking it against irelia um i think uh chogat has the upper hand here because of his sustain and if he gets ahead like the huge chogat can numb people eat you know he brings like a lot of c and not a lot actually but the true damage alt really can shred any tank that they have if he's going tanky what do you think that's fellas? very true that's well, really one true. thing we haven't seen is um Malka in the jungle so we haven't talked about it so i think um it's pretty even because warwick and maokai both of them are like pretty weak early so um, maokai is not going to be tanky but has cc so yeah and the thing on chogat um chogat is yeah just like you said um he, ha- he has very good sustain so um but Irelia is a very strong laner against Togat, so yeah, let's see. Well, Maoka is running a ghost instead of a flash. I would I find this quite intriguing because Maoka junglers are known for that flash root combo to pick up and catch up laners unannounced. Uh, do you think running this ghost instead on a maokai could hamper the entire strategy yeah it could actually i would prefer a flash because ghost really like closing the distance but flash and then rooting is way better than running up to them and then rooting them i really think he should have taken flash i don't know maybe of something different well let's see how he's planned it out so so going into this game um who would you place your money on the blue team or the purple team team comp team composition wise and um gang potential wise and team fighting wise who would you place your money on the blue um, team or the purple team i would i would place my money on blue team just because um maokai has those early game jungle pressure whereas warwick has to just farm in the jungle if he can get his lanes ahead and i really uh, can like uh carry his team or if he focuses his ganks on bot lane hyper carry jinx can carry well it all depends on how much room they let jinx to go on um i don't think uh once that warwick locks down the ulti on the jinx the jinx will have much scope um i personally love the purple team comp because they have that morgana with that annie which is a very heavy aoe burst along with the lucian ultimate and choga just being choga then warwick just being those two tanky figures blocking all the major damage coming up front um but blue team on the other side has uh, a lot of cc so um it is going to be quite interesting the only pick i'm skeptical about in the entire game is that welcos because i've never seen a welcos being played in the ilg and uh, it would be very interesting to see how this guy fares um in front of uh, ani who is known to be one of the best a uh, burst champions burst mages in the game right now yeah and after 6 if warbeck comes in and any flash tivers that could spell disaster for alcos let's see what happens that's true um so as uh, we commentators say uh, we have something called as the skin battle uh, right now i see two skins on the purple side and three skins on uh, the blue side so i think the blue have won the skin battle as of now uh, what do yeah, you know there f- yeah funky town mon- money pimps winning that skin war and we don't 
we don't even know what Death Wow is. He might even have a skin. Yeah. So um, because of Death Wow, I think we're gonna have a minor delay in the start of the game because um, he was complaining of some issues. Um, so the game might be paused for a couple of minutes, but um, we will soon continue um, as soon as he does it. Oh, even he has. Yes, a skin. he has a skin. Yeah, we see a night blade ideally are coming up. Um, so that's four to two, uh, wanted by a quite big margin, I must say. <laughs> uh, I was looking forward to the pause during the start of the game because it isn't an Indian or a Bangladeshi game if it doesn't pause for the first two minutes or something. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's our reputation, and we have to live by our reputation. So, um, I don't know. I still have a feeling we might see a pause in the start of the game. Oh, no, we don't. And the summoner rift is through. Welcome, people. We are inside the rift, and let's see at the item pickup. Pretty standard item pickups from both sides. Um, Chogat. Taking on a crystalline flask, I'm not pretty sure Chogad needs a crystalline flask because of that passive. The passive is quite overpowered itself. Um, the pings being going out, the red team has spotted the blue team standing in the bush because of that ward. Um, Morgana again starting with a Doran's ring and not the support items. What's your take on that? Because Morgana won't be able to farm any gold until and unless she actually does a lot of... She actually takes the kills or starts killing creeps. So what's your take on that Doran's Ring start from Morgana? Uh, no, I, I'm not a huge fan of uh, support starting Doran's Ring. Like, Faust was complaining about a Morgana that he had in his rank game today. And he was complaining about it. He hated it. What do you think, Faust? Yeah, um, I didn't hear you in the last part. Could you repeat? Uh, weren't, uh, you were talking about a ranked game that you had where there was a Morgana with a Doran's Ring start? Yeah. The Morgana started Doran's Ring and gave away first blood, so... Yeah, she wasn't a good Mo Morgana or a very... Mana, good per mana. She didn't have a good choice in having that Doran's Ring first start, for the start. And... Um, well, as most supports, AP supports are supposed to start Spell his Edge, and not doing so is actually not having a gold per 5 item, so yeah. Yeah, that's a very big disadvantage Morgana has to go through. Um, I uh, don't understand the basic ILG concepts. I've never seen uh, any supports bring out wards with them they always stack up on potions but rather than buying a ward and going on for a longer much lane sustain what's your take on that would you yeah. prefer to buy two extra potions or a ward yeah uh, i would like i would like to see wards because that could help the lanes uh, stay safer in the early game but I don't think they're expecting too much of ganks, so I think that's why they started with the pots rather than a ward. Yes, that makes sense. Chogat going aggressive on that Aurelia, but um, oh, he might take the Aurelia down, and that's first blood for Chogat. Um, Warwick's got. Warwick might go down and that's another kill so one for one trade uh, Dragon might be taken down by the blue team That's a mistake what Warwick did Warwick tried to solo the dragon without any preemptive vision and uh, The blue team capitalizes and takes down the dragon So uh, I feel all in all the blue team has come up in this transition yeah, that was a bad call by Warwick. But who knew that Leona would roam there? But it was a good call by Leona and a bad call by Warwick. 
Oh yes, uh, Jogat uh, quite heavy rune page he has. Um, Leona going in all in on Morgana, uh, but uh, dark binding to save her nonetheless. Uh, we can see uh, Warwick completing the Rangers Trailblazer. Both junglers actually completing the Rangers Trailblazer. I wouldn't expect Maokai to be on the Rangers Trailblazer with the new Juggernaut's uh, enchantment coming out, which just makes the tanks overpowered. Do you think uh, Trailblazer is better than the new tanky enchantment? Oh, Maokai ganking the top lane. Uh, they've caught the Chogat, and I think Chogat will fall down uh, if Irelia can get in range. But she flashes in and last hits. Ma uh, uh, the Chogat does fall down. Um, and that reminds me of my question um, Do you prefer the Trailblazer or the new item on a Mountain yeah, Jungle? Yeah, 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 Trailblazer is uh, a very good item on the new. Uh, on the tanky junglers because it helps them clear and the and the enchantment gives them more a better wave clarity. So yeah, I, I would like the trailblazer over any other jungle item on tanky junglers. Okay, um, Chogat coming fast in lane and throwing some pain. I really might go down and Chogat picks up another kill. I really didn't even try and dodge that. Q from Chogat, uh, it was just her pr blindly walking into it and um, a big misplay by Irelia. Uh, you, can't, you cannot let Chogat get farmed. He already has that catalyst and once he gets that rod of the AG stacking, uh, he's going to uh, dish out a lot of damage. Um, Obi, I think you're ahead of us. Uh, you're ahead of the stream too. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, what yeah. time are you going on? Uh, 623, 24, 25, 26, 7, 31, 32, 33. Yeah. So we're good now? Uh, you have 42 seconds. Uh, 46, 47, 48. Yeah. Okay. The followers. Yeah. So what do you think of this Cho'Gath top? Well, he has killed Irelia twice, so now basically he is ahead in lane. And um, I, although they have the same amount of farm, now Lucian oh, gets Lucian picked get up. Caught. Lucian will walk into the trap. Uh, he had no other Annie option. flashing Annie with the uh, Annie with that flash timbers combo we were talking about all this time taking that well cause down so it's a three for three as of now uh, no gold difference just that one dragon uh, making a difference um, a very um, interesting and a clutching game to play till now. Yeah, uh, it's gearing up to be an interesting game. Well, everything's level. Just a hundred gold difference between the two. And a dragon. <laughs> well, well, cost yes. base it is Flash, so yeah. It, as soon as Warwick hits six, he is again very prone to a gank and he'll definitely die. So, I hope he plays safe. And wards up. Well, the BS sword coming on both the AD carries, so basically um, they are on the same farm level. Chogat snowballing a bit harder than the Irelia. Uh, he might. He's sitting on um, thirteen. Uh, he's sitting on fourteen hundred gold. Just 150 more gold for him to go back and complete his Rod of Ages. So once he gets that item, do you think Chogat would be a threat? Oh, Chogat getting ganked though. Chogat getting ganked. Uh, he 
I really have with that RT would take down Chogat. Maokai also pops up in the RT, but that's a flash and Chogat will go down safely back to his turret and back to the base. So yeah, Chogat should be able to pick up the rod of the Ages. And what do you think? Once Cho if Chogat has rod of the Ages by the tenth minute mark, do you think he'll be snowballing hard in the lane? Yeah, he's gonna be a monster if he gets a Rod of Ages, if he picks it up and starts stacking it. He'll do a lot of damage in team fights. It doesn't look good for Irelia, I guess. And though Makai is camping, I don't think they can kill uh, Rogats with who's so far ahead in this game. Oh yes, definitely. They won't be able to kill a Chogat uh, who is already stacking up and uh, eating up the Rod of the Ages. Um, oh, but blue, blue team, team going has for the, the dragon, and uh, Chogat has uh, four feast stacks on him already, so he's definitely fat. Uh, Warwick and Chogat ganking will. Oh, they just. I really just got saved from that Q. Yeah, but that's a tower for a red team. That's a tower going down for a red team. And uh, the dragon being picked up by the blue team. Chogat happy to tank it completely. But I really so, uh, trying to make he, some. Oh no, he backs off. Chogat already has four stacks on his ultimate on feast. So uh, he's already a bit buffy champion and if he goes back and picks that rod of ages up quickly he'll be yep he picks up his rod of ages at the 10th minute mark as i said um and he'll start stacking it so by the time we reach the 28th minute mark chogat would be snowballing pretty pretty darn hard Fawaz, what do you think of the trade for dragon for turret by the red side well that that was the second dragon for um and they have now um, pushing towers um, that buff so um, well for a turret it's fine but that was the second dragon so I think it might not be worth Yona, um, oh, Lucian oh, gets Lucian get Lucian has to use that flash to get oh my god and oh, oh, picked up god. by Jinx that was Beautiful nice ulti by Jinx Picking up that Lucian. That was a predicted ulti. That was very nice by Jinx. Oh, Joe got TP'd in. tp down. Uh, exhausted, but he's still three people fighting. He's he's so tanky. He's fighting three people. All by himself. All by himself with the draw of Ages and that stacks. Oh, um, Annie coming in. Annie has it stun up. This could be dangerous. Leona escapes. Annie with the flash tables and picking up. But that Leona. could be a dead Annie. That but is a dead Annie and a yes, dead Chogas. Yes, Belkos picks up a double kill. Oh, a double and kill. War and a triple kill to Belkos. Warwick picking up a double kill. Um, Belkos getting fed. This is bad. This could be uh, bad news for uh, the red side because Belkos is one of those champions. Um, you do not want uh, to get to be fed by the middle or towards the late game because this sca because it scales pretty well. Uh, Chogat losing half his stacks on feast because of his recent death. Um, and yep. he's rushed that Rabidin's death cap. What do you feel about that? Um. And a pause comes out. Now, so, Annie's gonna do so much damage, whereas Velkos is just getting the, I think, um, Athene's Holy Grail, so Annie's going to be doing way more damage than Velkos. But, all in all, I think Blue Team came out ahead in that trade-off. They got a tower and three kills. Yep, uh, blue team definitely came out ahead. Uh, we already see a 1k goal advantage at the 13 minute point. 
I really are still struggling to complete that first item, that Trinity Force that we have seen everybody rush. Well, cause uh, just sitting down happily with the Chalice of Harmony, um, he has to go back and buy some new items. Um, let's see what he buys. A very interesting game happening till now. And that's a pause again. I, I guess there's some miscommunication going on. So looking at this early game, um, who do you think is going to come on on top in the mid-game skirmishes that you have? Where you can see three kills on Velkaz and two kills on Jinx. What well, do you think will um, happen in the next team fight? Well, looking at how tanky Choka is right now, like he was fighting three people alone at that point. So if he would have only had more support, from Annie and Lucian before, he could have actually killed all three of them at that point. So seeing it all depends on Chogath and Warwick. If they both become tanky enough, uh, the game will go on the favor of the purple side. But if uh, they are able to melt Chogath down, um, the blue team will definitely take over. What's your opinion on it, FZ? Yeah, right now Velkos does have three kills, so and Jinx being two kills ahead of Lucian, so um, I think um, it's all on Chogath right now because Warwick isn't tanky enough yet. So if Chogath doesn't um, uh, grow up, yeah. The damage from Jinx and Velkos, then red team are gonna just get destroyed by the blue team as they have yeah more damage so it's pretty 50 50 right now but and it's 7 6 in kills so yeah let's see what happens but that Velkos pickup still shocking me I just hope that the blue team doesn't regret that decision any time in the middle of this game. I, I think uh, blue team are ahead because red team's bottom lane uh, is not doing very well. It's 0 2 on Lucian, Morgana with no assists, and she doesn't have the GP5 item, I think. Does she? She doesn't have any GP5 item yet. I don't know where Morgana she's gonna get the gold has from. No GP5 items. Uh, even I don't know where Morgana is getting a gold from. Um, this is going. This is a very. Um, this is this style of game I hate on Morgana players. But well, let's see. He might have preempted something. They're trying a gank on Annie, but I don't think they will touch even. Because you see, if he had the flash there, he could flash Rudum, and that could be a dead end. Yep, Annie. yep. Um, that is why I would prefer a flash over a ghost. Uh, oh, Warwick coming in for the game. In, but uh, Warwick getting that stun from uh, Leona, uh, and uh, they are forced to be pushed behind because of the Jinx ulti. So, um, all in all, uh, they pick up, the blue team picks up another tar. A bit of ward clearing from Chogath. Chogath is just basically roaming around right now. Um, let me check on how much stacks Chogath. But this Chogath is leaving. Chogath is sitting at three stacks right now. Um, he needs just three more to get to his fat tanky level again. I, I think Chogath should go back to his lane because Irelia is farming up a storm and he, he's, she's getting back into this game. 
Yep. Look at her. She's winning in CS right now. Yep. And uh, it's interesting to see how the second blue buffs haven't been given to the mid solo laners. Um, because usually the second buffs are passed on to the mid solo laners, but both the junglers have taken it for themselves. So um, <clears throat> that means bigger cooldowns and uh, less spamming altogether. And pause another again. pause. What do you think about the ward coverage on the map, LZ? Um, right now, the red team have just one pink ward and it's pl placed in that tri bush behind their first inner tower, bot inner tower. And um, blue team has wards all over the map as I can see, so they have more ward coverage. So the vision is in the blue team's favor. Do you think vision is a key element in a, a successful game, JD? Uh, uh, come again? What? Do you think vision is a key element for a successful gank or a successful game? Oh yeah, vision definitely is a huge factor in ganking and changing the game. I think red team should ward more or they're prone to a lot of ganks and a lot of just surprise plays by blue team. Oh uh, yes, even I believe the same. Um, I hope blue team uh, the red team starts to ward more if they want to survive because any territory which you can't see is dangerous territory. You don't know how many players are waiting there for you. So they must help Morgana ward as much as she can and um, the jungler I, I, I would personally at this point um, prefer Warwick to pick up a side stone of his own himself. What do you think of that? Yeah, that could definitely help the red team a lot. But I don't think um, this league might have Warwick having the side stone, you know? And... But I am so disappointed by this Morgana, though. Really should oh, have yeah. gotten that... Five items. Same here, same here. Morgana is falling back so much behind in the gold. You see, her total gold is 2,605. Whereas, uh, Leona is 3,640. And... Uh, it, most of the difference is because... Um, of like minor differences, like you can say 300 gold for the kill, and let's just say 200 gold for the each assists. So, around uh, four 700 gold is from your uh, kills and assists, but the rest remaining gold is just because of that GP5 item. And Morgan is falling pretty, pretty far behind. And as the game progresses, the GP5 item would hurt her a lot. Yeah, and she's not getting any kills or assists. Uh, spell disaster for... Red side. Yes, the game has started again. And Choga going in on that Jinx. The Jinx is... Doing pretty hard damage to the Chogat. Flash in by Chogat, but I think he's gonna be okay. He's going to be okay. He's happy to oh, tank the and oh. right there. And Chogat oh. eats up the Jinx, um, getting his revenge kill. I really oh. coming down. Oh, oh what my a God! Beautiful ulti by Leona, connecting to all four members. Two of them are able to flash away and escape. Two of them still remain caught. Blue ah, team be, coming uh... ahead in this transition. Again. Uh, this should be a assist. dragon for blue team, maybe. Maybe it's a dragon. Maokai will try and solo this dragon. Chogat's getting caught. Uh, he will oh. go down to yeah. Velkos. Uh, Velkos, Velkos gets one more kill. Velka slowly becoming a huge 
factor in this game. Well, well, because he's one of those heroes who I personally um, hate late game because he's just he just starts to snowball late game if he's overfed, especially that ulti. And uh, this is the third dragon coming in. They're basically timing the dragon perfectly and taking it at perfect intervals. So, what do you think about their objective control till now? Yeah, blue team's objective control is pretty on point. What do you think, Faz? FZ? Um, I think he's not yes. there. Okay. Yeah, so you were asking me? Uh, what do you think about the dragon control? I mean, the objective control by blue, blue team? Yeah, well, there are three towers ahead. Uh, three towers to one, so um, basically two or two towers ahead, and three dragons, and the next two dragons will mean the fifth dragon for them. So, well, I don't see how red team is gonna come back into this game, and Maka is getting very tanky. But the thing I was trying to say was, um. Well, cause still doesn't have a boot, and so does uh, so does it not, Lucian. So, That's a yeah. tank on, uh, and and Warwick catches the Irelia. They both are fighting like big huge tanks. Irelia might go down, but she survives. Warwick fighting, uh, Mauka is still Mauka's coming fighting in. that, yeah. and Velcos picking up. Doing enough damage so that Mark I can pick up that kill. Again, a misplay by the. Well, that was side. a two for zero. Two for zero, change. And a tower. Okay, Lucian is getting in dive right now. Yup, and they take down the second tier turret at the bottom lane. More scope for them to open up. The map's been opened up now. Yeah, Funky and, Town. Uh, Funny I pimps. Fear that Funny from this point, timed out. Uh, the blue team, the red team is just going to go down the hill. Uh, blue team is already quite far up. Yeah, I, I think blue team is running away with this game. Slowly running away with this game. I, I think the Cho'Gath is getting cocky. Jogaz is getting very cocky indeed. That battle with Irelia and Maokai was a complete disaster because Jogaz started focusing Maokai while Warwick focused Irelia. If Jogaz was focusing Irelia at the same time, they would have taken um, Irelia down. Hey, Irelia, on the other hand, trying to catch Jogaz off guard. Leona coming from behind. Can she land the stun? Yes, she will land the stun. And Chogat going down again. Wow, they aren't. They're not even allowing the red team to stay in their own jungle. And the first surrender would come from the red team, though it's denied. Uh, but there hey, is wake up. complete disrespect in the red team's side. Uh, they they have they are fighting, I guess. And um, they're, the red team players are not on the same page. What do you think oh, about that? Oh, Warwick getting caught. And that's a dead Warwick. Or is it? Uh, no, Jinx missing out just the survives. So, what do you think? Uh, okay, Where did uh, the blue team go? Where did the red team go wrong? Like, I think uh, red team shouldn't have I'm left Irelia your channel. by herself. And Togat shouldn't have... Uh, Rome does much. That put Irelia right back into this game. And Velka's getting three kills so early in this game. Just, it all went wrong for Final Five. That's very true indeed. Uh, Velkos got farm. Well, Annie held Velkos pretty well in the lane but that triple kill which Velkos got bottom like it was a free triple kill because he was just 
on his ulti. They're trying to bait them for a barren fight. Could this happen? I don't think Red Team will try to contest Baron. They should just take Baron, Blue Team. Yep, even I think the same. Um, Blue Team finally decides to go and start doing the Baron. So, FZ, do you see any scenario where Red Team comes back into this game? Or Obi? Anyway, well, um, only a miracle can save them right now. Um, and by a miracle, I mean if one of blue teams people like um, what do you call it? disconnects or um, uh -huh. suddenly decides to troll. <laughs> but <laughs> under normal circumstances, I don't see the red team coming back. Only a miracle right. can save the game for them. So that's a locket of the Iron Solari completed on the Leona, and an Icebound Gauntlet completed on Maokai. Um, very tanky build. Oh, and this fourth dragon, uncontested fourth dragon by the. It'll be comfortably taken by the blue team again. Um, that is the advantage you get uh, having Maokai and uh, Leona in the same team. Both of them are such huge tanky forces that um, Irelia can, sh and plus Irelia with that uh, Trinity Force and Spirit Research is tanky and bursting down the same damage. Irelia survives because of that locket of the Iron Solari, but unfortunately, Z Jinx doesn't. Jinx will go down. Yeah. Uh, the range siege minion is doing a lot of damage to the tower, and I think they will be able to take down the tower by this wave of the or the other. So once they get into the base, um, I think it's game over for uh, the red team because they can't even fight them under tower right now. Lucian ulting the Lucian other way. Lucian ulted the other way. <laughs> I, th I think uh, yeah. he saw a bird. Lucian <laughs> probably has given all hopes. And uh, maybe he's one oh, of okay. the Okay, he flashed too. And he... Okay, and, and it's a game. Um, they have surrendered at 25 minutes point. So the Funky Town Money Pimps have won this game. And uh, congratulations to them. And um, thank you for this awesome game. Thank you for staying on stream with us. Um, I would li also like to thank my co-commentators FZ and JD for being here with me. Um, um, we had a nice time. Hope uh, we had a great time it. with you too. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.